So what do you do when you don't have Salvation Army, you don't have Goodwill, you don't have thrift stores, eBay, or whatnot to source your video games? The only thing you have left is pawn shops. So I'm here in an area of Bogota called Marley. Um, not exactly a tourist friendly area, but not exactly too dangerous either. Uh, this is 53rd Street with Caracas. And right here is where we're gonna start our journey to check out all the pawn shops of Bogota. Let's go. I was told that uh, pawn shops are from 53rd all the way to 66th. So hopefully that's true. ¿Ese juego qué cuesta? Ese vale 30. ¿Qué es el último? ¿Lo puedo ver? Claro. Es el único, ¿no? Señor. Bueno, me lo llevo 30. Sí, sí, bien. Está bueno está. Tiene un control. Sí. Voy a, voy a pasar. Ya la han abierto. Pretty good so far. And the we party. Seems like I've entered the musical instrument pawn shop area. But so far it's pretty good. So it's, it's a cool little area. It's uh noisy, but a lot of shops. I've made it to Calle 57. I can't tell you how many Battlefield games for Xbox 360 I've seen in the last like five minutes. And Connects and PS4s and Rosso, this is cameras and lenses. P uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 PS4 Pro. Uh, 980, it's a Nuevo 80, 980, that's like $250, maybe a little more. I don't know if that's good or bad. In the box, so. So do I recommend uh, coming to the pawn shops in Bogota if you're on your trip or layover or whatever? Yeah, check it out. It's just one strip, just one road. So you just kind of spend like an hour or two. It's pretty fun. Starting to get a little more fancy. ¿Qué cuesta? Lo de Mario. 30. ¿No tiene más o solo es? About eight dollars for each Mario game, and yeah, they're, they're worth like about twelve, so not worth it. ¿Qué cuesta el lado de Wii? partied out. Look at this. 
this is all I got today, but Mario Kart Wii. This one does not have the manual. This one is complete, the Guitar Hero 3. About 16 bucks value. And then two Wii parties. These are, uh, one is complete and one isn't. So, pretty good. I spent a total of 110000 which is $28. And from the $28, this is worth 130 from price charting. But even if I sell it at a discount to my frequent buyers, I'll still make, you know, a profit of like 63-ish because I'm going to sell it around 90 if I do end up selling it to them. But pretty good day. And now all that's left to do is see what this box is looking like. Maybe we could send it out tomorrow. Okay, so I got rid of these three. Those are gone. And then this one has the ugly bottom. No manual. I'll put it on the website for cheap. This is going to go on the website. Okay, so this small box is ready. Uh, I'm going to call that company. I'm going to try them out. See what they do for me. All right, so the box was picked up. I left it with the doorman downstairs, and um, they just picked it up from them. And uh, they're going to send me a price soon. And yeah, that is my last shipment before SoCal Gaming Expo. So now I'm going to try to stay, uh, stay light with the purchases. If anything, I'll take everything in my luggage when I leave. And uh, yeah, now what? So that's the episode, guys. I hope you guys like the pawn shops here in Bogota. And I found some stuff, which was pretty awesome. So from this beautiful structure in downtown Bogota, I bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to leave you with this fun fact. Did you know that only 42% of you watching are subscribed? So if you're part of the 58% and you like this video, make sure you subscribe. It'll help the channel out. Thanks, guys. See you next time.